Good afternoon everybody, this is Joe from CSG Creations. I'm making today a tutorial on how to do a shiplap tumbler on a 20 ounce tumbler. I went ahead and spray painted my tumbler white. You'll need, let's, let's, go, let's go tape, some um, brown alcohol inks, a brush, some scissors, and some time. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to um, mask off the tape in blocks. And you want to take some tape. Let's go back to here, move over. So you can see what I'm doing. Some tape like this. Lay a cup down so it going not go anywhere. And find the beginning of the cup. All right, hands rolling. Forgive me. Okay. I'm going to cut some off. In sections. And let's just start laying the cake. You may make sure you get the, the tape right at the top of the cup. Make sure you get it right though because you don't want to mess up. Sometimes you don't get it right. You can take it off. And put it back down again like so it's like that so we'll go around the cup and keep going around the cup till we finish the whole cup and uh, there's no right right or wrong length to do these make a, make a space between the, the two so give it give that gap in between them into the two of them like that so you see the little gap there you get a gap so I'm using um, hog tumblers for my rain I love her tumblers. Like I said before in the last video, they are great for holding uh, full holding ice and keep it cold. Um, let's go ahead and get this done. See, just like that. So you're gonna go around the whole entire cup and go down the cup. In my last video I did, I did a tumbler, some similar to this one. I did. Um, a 22 ounce, a 30 ounce skinny, a uh, fatty, I mean, I'm sorry, a fat, fat tumbler. All right, so I got the first, the first row down. So you want to go ahead and make sure you do this right because you don't want to do it too fast. Take, take your time and do it, pay, do it right. So you're not going behind yourself and, and miss, messing up. The work you're trying to do be careful be patient sometimes the tape doesn't want to stick that's fine it's all right there's no wrong right or wrong way to do it go ahead and let's get done what so i do so i'm gonna stop i went ahead and dip my cup i'm leaving my cup brown is down here this time I'm going to leave it open because I'm going to do my water from here up to right here. I'm doing water and the glow and dark. So, this is my cup here now. I taped it off. I'm going to take some uh, teak wood. I'll show you what I'm doing. Come over with me. Some teak wood here. I'm going to take teak wood. And a brush, and the thing about after you get done doing this here, we're going to take some clear sealant and seal your cup. All right, here is the like, like, like this here, and we're going to start brushing the cup. I put my my on my cup on my brush, and I go around the cup. So we're going to go around the cup and let's make it happen. Make sure you, if you don't mind the, the splatter on your hands, wear some gloves. If not, it's okay. It comes off with a little, with a little elbow grease. So we're going to go ahead and fill in all the cracks in the, on the cup. Oh, make sure you don't spill it.
I made it dark because I like I like a dark look to it. Gives a wedded look to it. So some chips are dark back in the day. We're gonna do this here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna I'm going to add um surprise at the end. I'm going to add some glow powder into my water so that my water will glow as the cup is being is a uh, underneath. I'm sorry you gotta watch me do this, but it's just to see how it is. I'm gonna add some color to it. Add some stuff to it, and then we're gonna seal it. And then the next layer will be, I'm not sure, I'm, I try different, I use a different color. After we seal it, you're gonna seal the, see it looks like that right now, so far it looks like that. We're going to add the sealant to it. Yeah, work fast because alcohol inks does dry quickly, and I'm being attacked by my paintbrush. Like that you're gonna get it in there because somehow my paint my this morning my spray paint spray paint in my cup and it's a little texture to it texture texture feel into it. it's not kind of rough which I like because it gives it that, that that rough look to it so I let it go I just didn't try to fix it that's okay we're almost at the bottom of the cup Alcohol inks, I like working with alcohol inks. I'm using um, Jim Holtz alcohol inks. I like using them because they are very good color. If you see my tutorial on my last one, it's the same color I used in the last one. Um, on my last cup, I did. This, this tutorial, I'm doing the whole, the whole series from beginning to end. So you can see how I do my water. We're almost at the bottom of the cup, so you make sure you want to go around the cup and see if you see any white spots to get them done, get them out of the way. There's no right or wrong wrong way to make the design of the cup. There's no right or wrong way. This is how your eye, the way you, the way you see it, that's what it's going to be. I love how this, 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 this looks so far. Ah. And a little different color texture to it. Ah, I like that. Like I said I'm going to do the bottom brown because I want to cover it anyway with water. So I'm going to do that and seal it. That way it's, the whole cup is done. Make sure you get the bottom of the cup done too. You want the whole cup done, not the bottom. All right, let's work on getting this done. If you just, just work patient, be patient with the with the paints, because you want to. Don't rush it, because you rush it, you miss some stuff, and don't you don't want to look messy. Okay, get the, get the bottom.
this 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 part will be okay because it's gonna it's gonna be colored in blue anyway. Alcohol ink when I put the epoxy on it. All right, so this is how it looks right now. How it looks. I see no spots that I need to fix work on. I don't see any. I think I see one. Oh, oh. My hand's covered in there. It's okay. I see one spot. You want to make sure you go behind it and make sure you get fixed small spots if you see some dry spots on your cup. All right. So I went ahead and did this. Now the time comes, you grab your sealant spray. Try and get on here, get on here, right? You want to clear, clear spray it. At least about twice. Spray it down twice, and spray it down twice. That way, you get a good seal on it and come back and peel all these off one by one, and then go over it with. Um, let's go over with ginger when we come back so i'm going to hit spray this when i come back we're going to go peel this away and go to the next step i'll be right back back i am now have my cup sprayed clear i'm going to go ahead now and peel this back with um black knife carefully peel these off one by one That's all right. It leaked underneath some. Some leaked underneath. Is that all right? I'm gonna go ahead and fix that anyway with a different color. Sometimes it leaked like that. It happens. Sometimes I guess I didn't peel it all the way down. Let's seal it. Completely seal it. Not every cup can be be perfect. We're all gonna have that one that one or two cups that. Don't want to seal right. See now that that works pretty good. That's how it's supposed to look. Just go on a cup, and um, you can watch me doing the cup. Um, take his off. Careful with the paint underneath it as well with with, with the exact knife because you don't want to scratch your paint that you put under here. See it leaked underneath. I get a little weathered look to it, so it might look okay. So we'll see how it looks. There's no right, wrong way, right way to do this. So we'll just see how it looks when you take it off. That see, some of them work, some of them don't. It's just luck of the draw, I guess. One thing I see, we'll just wait and see how it looks when I add the other color on here. That didn't come out right, so it looks kind of. We'll see. I like I can always strip it off, strip it down if I don't like it too much, I guess. Nah, I'll give it a weathered look. I guess when I put my tape down this morning, my I painted I painted it white this morning. I guess the paint came out kind of came out rough. I don't know in some spots. I don't know why I did that, but I figured it would be all right if I just did it, just to see how it looked, give it a, a textured look to it. So, but when also on the epoxy, it will look kind of cool because ships have barnacles on them. Remember how ships are, so. Let's go ahead and get one, each one almost done. We're going to go ahead and get the other color on here. And then we're going to see it. We're going to put the color on here. And then we're going to. I did it last time. I was getting quiet here. I don't know music. I, I have, each has music on. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. 
are up. See that somehow some of them work really good, and then some of them didn't. So I'm gonna give that kind of cool look to it. I'm liking that. I'm digging it. I really am. So we'll see how it looks when I peel these off, and then I add the other color on. We're gonna add uh, ginger to the cup. Give that uh, different 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 texture to it. Different color, and it's sealed. So when you and when you cover it over. See the lines in here? Then we're going to take a black marker. I have it here somewhere. And we're going to make the little nail holes in the wood. So I think it'll be pretty cool. I did it last time, my first one. It turned out pretty good. And also, remember the wall, so I'm going to put the water on the bottom. I'm going to put water on the bottom. It's about right here. So it'll be all covered in water and swirl. I'm also going to put glow powder in my water. So my, when, when, when I put epoxy on it, it's going to glow. So the water will glow like sunlight, or like moonlight. When it hit the water, when it glows at nighttime, the moonlight and the water. That's my work I'm going for. So we'll see how it works. Just, just craft and you learn new things. So we're going to take the tape off. One by one. And we're going to go ahead and take this one off. And get it off here. Almost done. We're almost done here. So a few more tape, two, two more, one more line, and we'll be done. We'll, move, we'll go over to the. Come over here and cut the next, next color. So do this here. Get it gets off. One minute and get it off here, and take it get off. And we'll go from there. Hold on. We are almost done. It looks kind of messy right now because it looks it didn't see all the way. Tape didn't see all the way. So that's how it looks right now. Kind of awesome looking. And I will be back with you when pull the tape off. Make sure I get all the spots. Now I'm going to take your brush. And your next color we're going to use is ginger. We're going to add ginger to this cup. All right. So we're going to add ginger to this cup. We're going to see how it looks. So, add, add a cup. We're going to go around the cup. Hold like this here. It's better to hold like this because that way I can hold it. If you can see me, I'm going ahead. Here we go. And we're going to lightly put this in the cup. And add some and go around the cup. There is no right or wrong way. As I said again, how to do this? Just gonna just gonna lightly just coat it on there and give it that look to it, that ship look. All right, I'm gonna to go to the next one. See how it looks. Blend it in. Oh, I like how it's looking. Being pretty good so far. I like it. It's it's, it's working for me. Add some color to it.
You want to move quickly, but not too fast, because the alcohol inks, they do dry fast. So, we're going to go ahead and do this here, and keep going around the cup. And to get the, the look we're look, looking for, the look you're going for, we're going to get it in there. All the white spots you see on the cup, you want to make sure you coat the white spots because you want to know what's behind. I make it like this here, so I add a little, little, little watermark into it, so I'll give it like a little worn look. If you are watching my videos, I appreciate it. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to the video so I can make be uh make some more. If you like anything, you want to see anything, if you want to see something, you want to, want to see anything in particular, put a comment in the, in the in the comment section and comment if you want to see anything. I'll get to it. We're almost done down there. We're getting ready to go down to the bottom. Look too bad. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty cool. We're gonna keep working around, working around the cup, and get it get it in. Around the cup. No two cups are the same, so my last cup, this cup will look totally different. I have some other, other ideas I'm working on for other another cup. So be prepared for more tutorials coming coming away for more different 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 cup styles. So alright, we're almost down to the bottom. Let's get this in here. Oh, there you go. That's the best one I did so far. I like that one. I made small squares so that we give it a break it up not so long and short ones. That one. If you join for the first time, watching for the first time. Thanks for thanks for watching. Um, it's my third tutorial, my third video here on YouTube, and I'm actually liking how I'm. The love I'm getting from people. So we're almost at the bottom of that cup. Remember, the bottom of the cup is gonna, be, is gonna be blue anyway. So if you don't, don't get the color on there, it's okay. Cause we're gonna let it dry, and we're gonna put some color into it later on today. Probably in a few minutes, put the color into it and then put the epoxy on it. Let's go ahead and make this cup. Get another one of the books. Let's get turned. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm going to put a knot in the wood. Just a little knot here. And just get a little knot in there so we can somewhat. Oh, it looks great. Get a little knot in there, want some here and there. I put the alcohol ink in the spot and left it there and I blew on it. So I kind of gave it a little knot look to it. Hope everybody's having a good day today. If you're having a good day, great. If you're not, I hope it turns out better. I 
All right, we're at the bottom of the cup. We are at the bottom of the cup. So we're gonna go ahead and put some epoxy, some um, aqua, aqua ink in the bottom, and get it coated. It looks great, I think. I work the, the, the ink around the cup, work it around. And let's get some more color on there. We're almost done. I see some white spot here, I gotta get it out. All right. So there is our cup. Right here. Now, that's done, put it out of the way. Close it up so we don't spill anything. I have done it before. Black marker, like this here. We're gonna go ahead and put mark spots, little marker holes in the corners of the, of the cup, of the planks, to give it that wood chip look. It's a tedious, I'm sorry for watching, but. Uh, just give me, bear with me. I left some spots in the cup white because I'm going to cover it anyway with um, epoxy and gives it that worn look. You can make a big hole, you make a small one. Uh, let's see how that looks. I see, see that white spot right there. I'm gonna make that. You make sure you get the the spot you want you like. All right. I'm blow into it. Make sure you get. It. Take a sip. This is my one. I my carnage cup. All right, like so. We're gonna work our way down. So it looks like this. I love how this looks when I get when I do, when I do that like this. It looks kind of cool, rustic looking. All right, we're almost at the bottom of our, of our cup. We're gonna weigh it down. I'd make some. Big holes, some big, big knots. See how it looks. It looks great. So we're gonna fan it through, and then we're gonna put some epoxy to this, and then add the doo doo. I think I'll get some music playing next time I do this. Has some music in the background. All right, I think that's all of them. I have the whole cup done like this. Oh wait, I see a spot I don't like. That's that's better.
No, I'm a perfectionist at times. I want. I have, I have to be a perfectionist at times. I am. I can have things done right and look look good, look look great. So customer, whoever likes wants likes to see it, would like to see it how it looks. All right, we had the cup like look like this here now. Now we'll let it dry for a few minutes. When I want to clean this up, we come back. We'll be. I went ahead and um, the cu cup cleaned up and ready to go for the next step. I have my 20 ounce tumbler on my my timer. I have part A and part B of equal amounts uh, measured out. I'm going to be using the colors um, pistachio for color a little bit, Baja blue, and turquoise for the water, and of course pinata white. I'm also going to be adding to my final coat of epoxy. I'm, I'm going to be adding some Above the Clouds by Micro, um, Micromania and more to my water so my water will glow. Um, I have equal parts of A and B measured out already. I'm going to go ahead and combine my, my, my uh, oh, here it is. Combine my A and B together so we can coat the cup. Make sure you wear gloves at all times when no one is here because it's kind of messy. I should use my other hand instead. I'm right handed. Make sure you have your, your coat, your PPE, proper PPE on. Gloves. Some people use masks. I don't use masks. I never had a problem with epoxy. Breaking me out or anything. Or oh, I never had a smell with, a, with, my, with my, re, my resin. I never had a strong order of my resin. I never have. Okay, that's part A. That's part B. I mix my epoxy for about approximately about three minutes. And I stir it very well. About three minutes tops. Um, turn my turner on. I'm going ahead and do this here for about three minutes probably to get the, the, the bubbles out. I also have a heat gun I use to... Heat it up a little bit. Sometimes I heat the, the epoxy up to get a nice good coat. I've also tried to put my epoxy in warm water, A and B in the warm and some uh, in some hot water to get it comfortable to where it's viscosity and not so thick. Um, that's one good option we can do. Um, I'm turning it, spinning it. I have my uh, station ready to go. The cup looks awesome. We're going to see how it turns out. And we're gonna see if the glow powder will actually work as I put it on the last bit of the the cup. There's no speed to it. I try. I sometimes I go fast. And I go slow. Make sure you get all the sides of the cup. See, it looks like that. It looks clear a little bit almost. Again, that way. You want to make sure it's clear. I turn it down so you can see. It's clear sometimes. Get in there. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do that. Stir it around. Get a good stir. And now I'm adding my epoxy in my cup. Whatever I don't use on my epoxy, when I take them off, I have, I'm, I'm gonna put the glow powder into here. So when I drop my pinata inks, I can use the glow powder into the in, inside the mixture here, mix them up, so I can pour it into in the streaks in the water. So we'll see how that works. Stir, stir, get a good side, all the sides of the cup, stir it around. These have been the best things ever since using the popsicle sticks. These last a long time and they, they they're very great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and it's clear enough now. Oh, it was warm here today, so it's clear enough. I'm gonna have a baby wipe so I can get this here taken care of. Uh huh. Make sure you clean off all these clean all these off properly. Clean them off because you want no resin on it. Don't get hard on there. 
All right, here's the fun part. Put it on, onto the cup. See in my cup? We're gonna add the epoxy to the cup and coat it very, very, correct, coat it very well. Get the whole cup. All the sides. And let's start rubbing it in. Make sure you rub it in very well. So you know dry spots. You'll have some dry spots back in the cup. I try to do this here, keep it keep it dry spots to a minimum. Make sure you get the bottom of your cup. I let it turn for a few minutes. I let it turn for a few minutes to get so I get a good. Now add some more back to it. I felt some dry spots in certain spots over here. So my, 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 my turners are getting, and my rods have epoxy on them sometimes, and they pop sometimes, and they make that sound, that sound on them. I don't know how to fix that. It looks great. The cup looks wonderful. Have a good, hold on, let's just fix this. There you go. Cup looks great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my glove off. It's messy. I need, I need it. Let it spin for a few minutes. Let it turn. And I'm going to talk to you while I go ahead and the epoxy I used is not enough for the glow powder. I don't think it is, but maybe it is. We'll take some glow powder. I'm going to heat them first. I'm right here. Doo, doo, doo. We're going to add the water. Sorry. I'm still here. I'm just getting things together. Now we're going to add the water. We have... We're going to go to about here with water. About here. I'll go at least three high. If it was up a little more, that's okay. Um, I'm going to let it turn for a little bit. I'm going to add some up. Doo -doo. Get some above the clouds to my epoxy. Stir my epoxy, stir my mother clouds up. Get nice, good. See with the light, the looks like that with the light oh it's blue not word for it we're gonna add the uh, blue oh I need glove must have glove because we get messy in there this here make sure you have gloves always handy if you're watching the video if you're watching please like and subscribe like like and subscribe All right, here we go. And the blue.
turn the other, other, other direction. Or it's better for me that way. Okay, I have that. Make sure you get the bottom. I have the green. Get a little color to it. We're going to add some turquoise. Now the white. And then we we'll use some alcohol, some white, some heat. Oh, come on. Somehow my white got some stuff in it, but I can't get it out. Well, we improvise. Add a little white to this cup to our cup. I'll just do it this way a little bit no there's too much white oh I'm sorry got some blue today And some heat to it and see how it looks. I take it off. And this last time, I take it off. Add something like this here to it. And this way. This way again, give it some, give it some movement to it. Looks like that. We put it back on a turner. Add some more color to it, and some more blue. That turn, add some heat, some more heat to it, so you can get the mixture going on. So it's all right. All right. Now we're gonna add some glow powder to it. Let's see if this works. I'm doing motion like this here, in motion like this, like the waves, so we get a good you can see it, I got going on the cup over the edge, so that way the waves are, are crashing over the edge. So we get a flashlight, we turn it, UV flashlight, it looks like this. Gives it some color to it. I don't know if it work, didn't work right now. It turns kind of a bluish color. 
That's how it looks like that. So we're just going to see how it looks. And I'll have the finished result tomorrow. Thank you.